from the studios of the Security Officer Network with their presentation at this week's ICS West Conference, ADT Commercial has some questioning just how long it will be before robots replace unarmed security officers. A security officer has gone viral after declaring that a patron should not pray in a public facility. A wanted fugitive turns himself in to the security officer. We now know more about the fate of the proposal to require businesses to hire armed guards. And a California town is debating on hiring private security to do the work of the police. Stay tuned. This update is brought to you by the Security Officer Network, the professional security officer's status symbol of choice. Are drones and robots set to replace unarmed security officers? ADT Commercial seems to think so. Meet Gemini, one of the new generation of critters putting in an appearance this week at the International Security Conference in Las Vegas, the annual event that's billed as the largest security industry trade show in the United States. The robots are a pair of a suite of new products by ADT Commercial known as EvoGuard. The EvoGuard products feature a fleet of humanoid robots and drones with the purported purpose of helping organizations enhance security and supplement human guard services through the use of intelligent autonomous guarding solution. Or in the words of one high-ranking ADT official, helping to cost-effectively enhance corporate security programs while responding to high turnover rates and ongoing labor shortages in the guarding market. While we've yet to see any evidence of the robots in the wild, ADT's drones are already undergoing a pilot program at Swiss watchmaker Movado's. The drones boast an ability to go to a program destination or follow an autonomous patrol route at routine intervals, respond to alerts to trigger investigatory flights, and interact with security incidents in virtually real time and sport an always-on video feed to provide more comprehensive surveillance coverage, whether in flight or monitoring from a docking station. What do you think? Will these drones and robots replace unarmed security sooner than later? Stay tuned to the end of this update for the all-wise official prognostication of the Security Officer Network. In a cautionary tale, to the Ottawa train station where one Canadian security officer has gone viral after appearing to tell a Toronto man, don't pray here, we don't want you praying here, before instructing the man to pray outside. When the man refused to commit to this request, the footage appears to show the officer stating, I'm going to complain to your employer. The video of just 28 seconds earned 300,000 views approximate in just its first day. It's not yet clear what took place before the recording started, but that hasn't stopped the state-owned VRL, which is charged with operating the station, from already issuing a public apology to the man. An investigation into the circumstances of the incident is planned, after which that time VRL intends to take appropriate action. CTV News reports the man is saying that the officer's fellow employees have defended the officer and described him as a longtime officer who routinely responds to issues regarding the homeless that use this station. So it's probably a safe bet that a robot wouldn't give in to the human pressures of dealing with the challenge of securing a public access facility and potentially declaring, No praying allowed here and it probably won't retaliate by complaining to the man's employer. But if it did, how interesting. I must register a complaint regarding your employee. He is praying in public. To the Tulsa Zoo, where a wanted fugitive has turned himself in to the zoo's contract security officer. All night security officer Jeremy Cryer says he was just wrapping up his shift at the zoo when McLaughlin approached and turned himself in. As it would turn out, McLaughlin had been featured by the Crime Stoppers and was wanted for multiple alleged crimes against children. He has been charged with 11 counts. 
Owl Knight runs some very professionally marked patrol vehicles, and a review of their site shows officers sporting professional dark navy uniforms. Just the right amount of professionalism to incentivize a wanted fugitive to give himself up. Maybe we should pull McLaughlin to see if he would have been so eager to voluntarily run himself into Mr. Gemini. I accept your surrender. We now know the fate of a proposed new law that would require banks, gas stations, grocery stores, and pawn shops to employ at least one armed security guard during operating hours. The controversial plan had been planned when it was proposed earlier this year by an Illinois politician, presumably in response to Chicago's crime spike. Though it would have had a significant impact on the security industry, the plan had been panned as a potentially inflation-inducing measure in a time when customers are already dealing with a big spike in prices. And it appears that even the big spending, heavily regulating politicians in Springfield weren't ready to go this far. The bill failed to receive committee approval and last week marked the deadline for House action in Illinois, thus making it appear that for now the proposal is dead. But this isn't the first proposal in this area. A proposed city ordinance requiring certain gas stations to hire mandatory armed security has been supported by the mayor and debated by the city council in nearby Gary, Indiana, with some suggestion that it should also be applied to food stores as well. Look for these types of proposals to continue as desperate governments increasingly turn to private security providers to assist them with restoring a civil society. So if Mr. Robot does take your unarmed security job, I'm sorry Mr. Jim and I, excuse me, there might just be a new armed security guard position with your name on it. And finally to San Clemente where government is once again acknowledging the limitations of the police and looking to private security for help. The city council is debating on hiring a private security company to prevent homeless from setting up camp on North Beach, after locals have described a constant barrage of homeless people trespassing onto private property, interrupting events, breaking windows, and leaving drug paraphernalia behind as a souvenir. The group that's landed on our, our beaches, and they're not victims, they're victims of their own doing. The city has failed, as far as I'm concerned. The sheriff has failed as it relates to homelessness, the homeless. This is about the safety and security of our families, declares Gene James, the council sponsor of the proposal, who explained that he doesn't want San Clemente to become like Los Angeles, San Francisco, Oakland, and more. Police specifically the Orange County Sheriff's Office, have attempted to refocus deputies on providing coverage to the beach, but states that this means other places in the city will receive fewer patrols. The proposal would retain a security firm that's already providing services in nearby Oceanside, California, where private officers are now patrolling downtown, beachfront, and civic center neighborhoods as part of a one-year pilot program that started last October. The San Clemente proposal would use four security guards patrolling the beaches 24-7 with marked vehicles and body cams, and would potentially cost over $131,000 per month, or $1.5 million a year. The plan has, of course, drawn criticism, with some even calling it unconstitutional. In a recent meeting, the council narrowly voted to keep the plan on hold, but it is set to reconsider the idea in mid-April. The Security Officer Network's take. Will robots replace private security? Perhaps, perhaps to a small extent in the near future, but not likely to a large extent, at least not anytime soon. As the last two news stories have demonstrated, there's even an increasing demand for more security specifically human security. And so yes, while in some cases unarmed security positions are set to be replaced, the industry will probably continue to grow and there will be more and more demand for all types of security, both human 
and automated. Those who are just getting started in security now and who are willing to learn the new technologies will more than likely always have a job in this industry one way or another, either by providing direct human security or indirectly through the necessary oversight and maintenance of autonomous security devices. We should know more on this in just a few days because the new Bureau of Labor Statistics numbers are almost to be released. Have the number of guards under badge increased or decreased? And how much has inflation driven up security guard pay? Stay tuned by liking and subscribing to this video so you can get your notice when we go live with the new numbers just shortly after they have been released. Is it a preordained certainty that robots replace unarmed security officers? If so, how long do security officers have before they are usurped by the new drone and robot hordes? What have you witnessed out there? Have you seen a single security job replaced by automation? Leave your opinions in the comments below. How will the security officer network survive in a world without human officers? Hmm. Calling all robots. Register your security officer network account now. Join us today at the securityofficernetwork.com. Good luck trying to find a shrink in this town. <laughs>